In every company, there are people who have more power than anyone remembers. These people are not hackers. They are not spies. They are just ghost privileged people, or we call them ghost admins. I mean, still admin accounts, shared passwords, forgotten test servers, tools no one documented, but everyone still uses. The eighth scenario here is the executive laptop. Let's say the CEO's executive assistant had full device access to handle travel and calendar syncs. The assistant left during the pandemic, back in 2020, let's say, but their credentials still exist. Now, a remote attacker could exploit the old MacBook, pivoting into the core network, in case they're using MacBook, of course. Now, here, when access leaves, you, sh you should just revoke it, not just hand over the laptop. So basically, what happened here is around 69 to 70 high-profile accounts were hacked uh, and used to spread messages that promote Bitcoin scam. That's an example. We are giving back to the community. We support Bitcoin and believe you should too. All Bitcoin sent to our address below will be sent back to you, deviled. Of course, that's the message uh, after the attacker hacked Apple account on Twitter. Uh, so basically, all of these high-profile accounts uh, were hacked because of former contractors' access, where the attacker uh, actually maybe, I mean, socially engineered their way into the Twitter's uh, high-profile accounts through former contractors' access.